greeting again. We're going to talk a little bit more today about uprighting teeth. And I wanted to show you that you don't even have to be in orthodontics or you don't have to uh, have braces on the rest of the teeth. You can upright a tooth just right. If you just somebody just came in with their teeth and wanted one uprighted, or you needed to do it for a impacted or partially impacted tooth, you can do that without any other orthodontics. So uh, we'll just uh, get off going here and uh, show you what we're doing with that. Uh, let's see. Uh, I'm going to go here. A young lady came in that, that I think we either did some orthodontics earlier and, and when her 12 year molars came in this tooth is uprighted right here uh, pretty bad. Let me uh, get my little arrow going here and I can draw on it a little better. Uh, in other words this tooth is laid at an angle about like that and this is underneath this uh, here and this tooth is in bad shape. I mean you got to do something with it or food gets around that and you'll get a decay in it. Now we took just a regular wire and put a little circle on it and bonded it to t two of these teeth. You know, I think it's on about four of them uh, actually and this is a mirror in here it kind of shows this uh, looks funny here, but just kind of ignore that. And we've got a tube on this tooth right here. All you have to do is take your lector surge or whatever you want to and just uncover the side of that tooth like that. And we, you need a tube of some sort, kind and preferably a, I like to have a tube that has had a rectangular center to it and you can put a uh, put a rectangular wire in that tube and the tooth won't roll even if you activate it over 45 degrees. And now I'll show later how we did bent this little wire right here. And this is just a mirror in here showing you this part. So we plug that in there. Then this wire here was headed off down here somewhere. And you can raise it up and hook it behind one of these bonded areas in here. Let's go on and see another uh, picture here. Now here is this wire that we just took a wire, laid it on the teeth, and take some bonding material and bond it to that. This is not connected to it. This is just a hook that we're going to... Uh, have to hook up to this and you need to hook behind one of these bonds because as a tooth uprights it'll drag that uh, hook back further in that. Now here we're looking at it from the top and we've put the little wire we raised it up and hooked it right distal to one of the bonded areas here and as this tooth raises out of there it will slide that hook back to this point right there. Now you don't have to be uh, do orthodontics if you don't want to just learn how to do this. And this is something a pediatric dentist and uh, any dentist it would be a good thing to just learn. It really ought to be taught in dental school so that you can upright teeth and not have to put bridges or whatever on it like that. Let's look at another uh, view of it here now. Now here is the wire and you don't have to bend it this direction like you can come with the wire and if you drop it down and circle like this and come back and now you can activate this. In other words you could uh, this could be over here and you could tie it back up there so you could check it out and your your tooth is sitting in here and this would be a, a tube on the other side of this tooth wherever it was where the tooth is here 
and you hook it in like that. Then you raise this up and hook it, and that tightens this spring up right here, see? And so it will pick this tooth up and carry it right out of that spot like that. Now, this spring wire will work just as efficient if you come out and then just make it like this. Maybe make a couple of deals and then have it going over here, which would come off over this side. The only thing, this part would be up here. So you might chew against it. So if you want it to be lower, you come out, go down and make it like that. See, now here if you t t raise this up and hook it in there, it tightens this up and it loosens up and picks the tooth up. So you've got the video, you can go back and look at that loop and uh, learn how to do it. Now we're using a rectangular wire and a rectangular slot, preferably. Now here's this case. Here's the wire bonded on right here. We hooked it on the second tooth right there. And uh, this wire right here would be coming down and we raise it up and hook it. If you want to put more pressure, you put a optical plier and bend this wire down further, but it'd be sticking in the gum down here. So you have to hook it up here and then add to the pressure that's on the tooth to raise it up back there. So this is a person that's uh, apparently we did some orthodontics a few years earlier and this tooth came in later because she's wearing a retainer uh, to do that. Now let's look again. This is the other side that's finishing up of the case and the upper teeth and she's biting into the deal that we have up there. That's the upper retention. And this again is this tooth that's hanging down behind here. It's, it's what we want to finish. In other words, this second molar didn't come in for a year or two after we finished the braces and we could let it come in and then come back and hook this little wire up like that and upright this tooth. Now here it is. This wire here would be going off down here and we raise it up and hooked it here first and it's already picked the tooth up to some extent. And it, as it finishes getting it up here, this will slide right up to this bonded area right there. Now there it is. The tooth is up now and you see this bonded deal is slid back to here. As it's raised up, it moved this back. And this is something that you can do and if you're a dentist or working on teeth, whether you're a pediatric dentist or a whatever, you're doing orthodontics and want to do it, or if you just get a person who comes off, just comes into your office with an up, with a wisdom tooth or something that has room and you can bond a wire on this tooth and as long as you can get to the side of it, you take electrosurge, bond a hook there and stick this in and you can upright a wisdom tooth. Really cost you no more than doing the surgery on it. The person will have a good tooth if they've got room enough back there for the tooth. I think that's, uh, well, here we are. There's where the tooth was when we started. And there the tooth is after we got it up. You see this hook right here? You see the hook hadn't slid very far, so it just kind of set up in place like that. Now this is something very useful to do in dentistry. People will come in with their molars like this and you want to set them up and they, uh, then you can actually put a elastic from here up to one of these places and pull the tooth forward a little bit if you if it comes up and moves out and this can be used on ectopically erupting in young people 
for the six year motors coming in down here like this. You can do this same thing. It's exactly just hook up this and hook it up and pick up an ectopically erupting tooth just like we can upright this second molar or if it's a wisdom tooth and you had room for the wisdom tooth, you could upright the wisdom tooth rather than extract it. And that's an excellent tooth. So uh, and there it is, set up correctly in there. And that kind of ends our video here and thank you for watching. But I want to encourage you that you can do these things if you just see this. I know there's a lot of well-trained orthodontists look at this and they know how to do this. But whoever is looking at it, you can upright a tooth. And I've not found a tooth yet that you couldn't upright. If it's ankylosed, you might have to crack it loose or get somebody, or the old surgeon or somebody, but you can upright a tooth and just rue this back and the bowl will fill in around it. So thank you for watching. And this is something that every dentist, really, everybody that messes with the teeth uh, should learn how to do this. You can take a piece of wire and just bond it on those teeth like that. So thank you again and I'm going to say goodbye for the time being and want you to uh, subscribe to our channel. Thank you now.